Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Dom and an update on the painting I've been doing in the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, been a productive couple of weeks. Let's take a look. So first up, um, this is a Spanish Napoleonic battalion that I've just finished. Uh, based for black powder, 24 figures. Um, these are the excellent offensive miniatures, 28 mil uh, Spanish figures. They are based on the later period Spanish when they were using British equipment. Um, just a much dark, well, they had a dark blue, um, which I think I used Prussian blue for, from Vallejo. And then I used my um, ever faithful, um, this one, uh, light blue, uh, what's it called, electric blue from Game Color for the trousers. Um, it's... Um, yeah, so this period, the Spanish uh, were starting to get a bit more efficient, a bit more effective. So 1812 onwards, they were starting to get a bit more efficient. Um, they were well used to um, being involved in, in wars at that point. Um, and with the help of British advisors, um, their fighting quality had gone up considerably. And at the same time, they had um, British equipment, British um, uniforms, as I say. Um, so kind of just a nice thing to have on the table, really. I just thought it'd be quite fun to do up. I think I got the bulk of this battalion as a Christmas present last year uh, from my daughters, um, which was great. And then I just think I needed to add one more bag of figures to complete the entire battalion. So that's what I've got here. And I've um, almost a year on um, got around to painting them up. So nice to get some of the backlog done. And they are lovely figures. I go on about offensive miniatures all the time, but they are really nice figures. Up front, um, I think this was a freebie pack that they gave me. Um, it's some of the militia, or oh, volunteers, I think Spanish volunteers, command packs. So I've just done it as an officer, um, so that I've got an extra officer stand for any games that I play, whether it's sharp practice or black powder. He's ready to rock. Obviously, missing the standards, uh, or the, the actual flags for the standards. Um, they're on order from um, GMB, um, I think it's GMB, and uh, hopefully be coming soon, and I can stick them on, and that is another unit produced and ready for the table, whenever we get some more table action. So next up, a group of British um, American War of Independence um, regulars had these, these are Warlord miniatures, I had, I've had them ages, and I've done eight of them, and I've never really enjoyed painting them. Um, and so I've just just taken forever to get around the rest of them. Um, but I was inspired by, and I wish I could remember whose video it was, but somebody did a video, one of the bigger YouTube channels for Wargaming did this video, which talked about um, something called, which he called Ali's Brown Liquid for painting uh, British infantry. He was using it for Napoleonics, but I thought, well, that'll apply quite happily. And so I made myself up a batch. This is it here. Now, bear with me. <laughs> and I, I don't know where this, this came. Somebody else um, came up with this ingredient. Um, and so I thought I'd try it out. So it is 40% Agrax Earthshade, 40% Serum Sepia, and 20% Medium and then a, a couple of drops of Dragonhof Nightshade. All of those are different um, Games Workshop um, shade colours. And I just mix, you mix them all up. This is the, my sample here. And that becomes the wash over the top of the figures. And it, it does seem to work quite nicely. It gives a really, it gives a sort of bluey red wash, if that makes sense. Um, you can see, think what it's done to the trousers particularly made that given them a sort of muddy look which I quite like and so yeah I've cheated like buggery I got out my spray can of red um, paint here we go and I spray painted them all red and then I just uh, picked out the colors used the wash did the bases and there you go so eight more done, another 16 to do, 
and I'll crack those out and be lovely to finally get those figures done and ready for my collection because these are useful for uh, black powder, they're useful for uh, sharp practice and they're also useful for muskets and tomahawks so treble win, treble win. So next up a couple more officer groups for my black powder armies or my sharp practice armies so um, I realized when I used my bird lancers the other day I didn't have any relevant uh, cavalry officers to use along with it uh, so these are two officers I think they're from uh, French colonel pack I think so um, the Cleveburg grenadiers or chasseurs à cheval um, had uh, busbies so I've done this guy like that they're following the same green and pink pattern uniforms as um, the cavalry themselves this guy's I've done him as an ADC so this is the officer this is the ADC um, this guy I'm going to use as my uh, brigade or yeah brigade commander um, just because I like the figure um, he's kind of looks like a really high ranking kind of colonel major whatever um so he'll be part of that army these are um these are all perry's uh perry miniatures 28 mil napoleonics I think these were i can't remember where these which one i mixed and matched lots of different uh, officer packs so i can't remember where they came from but i'm quite pleased with how they've come out um always need a few officers don't you and finally here is my group of Goblins from Atlantic Miniatures. I think Atlantic do some of the finest uh, models on the market. Um, I think they're just absolutely awesome. They had a little sale on a couple of weeks ago and um, just bored and hit the button and bought them. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use them. They'll, they'll go into my Oathmark army in some form or another. I wasn't planning to have goblins, but hey, I've got them now. Uh, just I've been admiring their goblins and their dwarves for some considerable amount of time, but since I've suddenly got a whole load of dwarves elsewhere, I didn't think I could justify buying any of their dwarves. Um, but these goblins were just so nice. So, so nice. Really beautiful sculpted resin figures. Um, high quality, high cast. Um, high expense, even in, even in the sale, they were still pretty expensive. Um, but just, you know... You get quality with these figures. Um, really pleased with how they painted up as well. Didn't take me long at all. There's not much in them uh, to paint up, really. To be to be brutally honest, um, I, if you saw the video I did on painting my orcs, um, I did a sort of base green color and then put a green wash over the top. And I didn't want it to be exactly the same, but I still wanted a hint of green within the skin, or well, more than a hint of skin. I wanted it to be sort of green, but not the same green. So in the end, I used uh, Contrast um, Agras Dunes as the base color for the skin. And then I washed it with the same uh, Bell, Bell Tan Green wash from Citadel. And I quite like, yeah, more than quite like, I really like the sort of just, there's that hint of green in the skin which is what I was looking for I'm really pleased with how that's come out um, I did the basically what what clothing they're wearing um, in fairly as bright as I possibly could really and then just used at the end I used Agrax Earthshade as a wash over the top which has just toned it all down dirted it all down then dry brushed it with um, uh, Iraqi sand um, and I'm just really pleased with the effect. I think it's a really nice little group of figures. Some of the characters are just awesome. This big fat one in the middle here, <laughs> just great. There's a drummer there. These guys got uh, two-handed axe. That one, two two hand weapons. He's got a massive, great stone. Don't know what it is, mallet of some sort. Um, there's three of them are female. Uh, this one, that one, and that one. Um, yeah, just really nice, really nice figures. And they never go out of date, do they, figures? Well, they do, but they never they never go off, that's for sure. Anyway, so there you go. That's what I've been working on for the last week or so, nearly two weeks. Um, fairly productive, bearing in mind I'm also rattling through the um, Wargamers Anonymous um, core unit challenge. Um, hoping to have a video up on that in a couple of weeks. Um, but really pleased with the progress. 
Uh, actually, I have to say on that one, I'm doing some Portuguese uh, Napoleonic troops, and I had bought some on the interweb, and then I was unpacking one of my uh, many boxes in storage in the garage, and I found um, another load of uh, Portuguese. So I might have to end up painting a few more Portuguese Napoleonics up. I'm going to have more Portuguese than anybody else at the end of this. But hey, as I say, figures never, <laughs> never go off. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope this uh, latest lockdown in England um, is not driving you too spare. Um, I hope uh, you managed to take the opportunity to get some painting done and maybe some online gaming uh, via Zoom and so forth. And for those of you elsewhere, I hope you're enjoying your times and actually managed to get out and, be, and staying safe. Um, so as I say, stay safe, stay well. And I will see you again soon. This is Dom, signing out. So